It's like he said, it's just something about this track. <laughs> it, it, it always falls off the bike at this track, and it did happen. I'll show you here the highlights. First of all, 450 Moto 1. Hunter Lawrence, it doesn't matter what track we go to, he gets the starts. No, nah, it was just a lot better than second moto, but this yeah. first one, it was a close uh, call here. Justin Cooper over jumps his step up, gets into Hunter. Was able to get up, but that was a scary crash right there. Nothing he can do, just race an incident. Justin gets up, gets finishes 20th place, but yeah, he was all right, but it took a hit in the points for him for that third place. Here's a charge from Sexton working on Christian Craig. Yeah, it's the theme of the day. You're gonna see Chase Sexton passing a lot of guys today. Uh, he's making his way up to third place, so um, passing Christian Craig, who rode good that first moto. This was Hunter Lawrence after Aaron Plessinger was leading for a couple laps. Hunter stayed into it, was able to get on the inside. AP tries to fight with him, but Hunter had a good flow all day long. And once he got out front, he didn't relinquish that lead at all. Yeah, that's it. He's in the lead. Now, the eyes go to Sexton, who is third, and starting to close, and now gets to his teammate for second. Yeah, I'm just noticing the theme. Chase was passing a lot of guys on the outside. You know, when you're coming out of the pack, Chase had the opportunity to find different lines and, and see where guys were going, and he put it he put it to use. Goes after Hunter Lawrence, just only a few laps left, just makes a small mistake, easy mistake. Gets in that corner, loses the front end, tips over, and since it was at the end of the race, he didn't have enough time to recover. Bounce back two weekends in a row. Hunter Lawrence, your first Moto winner. Look good at doing it. Yep, making that new 2025 Honda look good. But the question is, can he finally get a second Moto and an overall win? Well, you know he's going to get the start, and he does. Yeah, he went with the paddle tire, the scoop tire, to help him off the start. He executed that, and this is the first time in a few weeks that he's been up front in the second moto. Chase Sexton, after following Aaron, and you can see Hunter Lawrence in front of him, makes a nice pass on his teammate. It was the only rider that I've seen that second moto really hitting that double, kind of catches Aaron off, off guard, and then it sets his sights onto that 96. But here comes another mistake from the four. Yeah, the lap rider in front of him, so you wonder if that played attention. But yeah, Chase goes in there just like the first moto, loses the front end. But he had plenty of time. This is not a replay. This is him making the same move a couple laps later on his teammate. And as you heard, Aaron, he's like, I was looking forward to Hunter Lawrence. And I looked over, heard the bike revving, and it was at number four coming up to the pack trying to chase down Hunter Lawrence, which he does. We were thinking about he was going to pass Aaron in the same spot, and then Chase decided to go around the outside with the power move, just like the video game hit the supercharger on him. Hunter didn't even recognize that he was there. And once Chase made that pass, he's been doing like he's been the last second motos. Those guys see him for a moment, and then they don't. Chase is on the roll. Yep, he has been unbeatable in the second motos, and that's what has preserved the win streak five in a row for the Red Bull KTM rider out of Illinois, now in position to capture the 450 Pro Motocross title for the first time in his career next week in Indiana. Takes the congratulations from Hunter. Still looking for that first ever overall win. It's 2-1-1-2 between them for the second week in a row. Plessinger third. And there's that Malcolm Stewart performance. Best finish since at this track in 2013. And you look at the points. Justin Cooper was third for the majority of this championship, but Plessinger rallying, rallying with those podiums as of late has taken that spot away. And Jason Anderson, fifth in points, close between he and Cooper, as we have one race to go in this championship. That's next weekend. Also, that'll seed the playoffs. When you look at these points, Sexton already has the SMX number one seed wrapped up. So he'll start with a three-point lead over Hunter Lawrence as we go into the three-round three playoff, two playoff rounds in a world championship. So we went to Bud's Creek. Hunter Lawrence, very good again. Still can't get it done. It was the same thing Hunter was asked on the podium. Great rookie season, solid rookie season. But if he ends the year without getting that overall win, is it going to be a little frustrating? Well, I mean, yeah, of course. I yeah. think Hunter would be frustrated, especially with his brother being out and the opportunity to win so many races. But, you know, I know he's gotten second and Chase beat him the, the last two races. But Hunter's a different rider. He's second moto. Like, I feel like this weekend he struggled a little bit on the tire setup. So yeah. did, if he had a better tire, would he have been able to keep pace? Who knows? And then last weekend he rode good second moto. Chase was just out front. Um, he got a bad start and he had to make his way. So. He is different. I'm sure he'd be a little disappointed if he's not able to win the race. But overall, 
I mean, the, the kids ride great. I mean, really good. We just ran into Chase Sexton, which is a different rider at this point. Yeah, and Sexton, I believe it's his fifth year in the class. So that's a lot of experience and data that Hunter's trying to build really quickly in the 450 division. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.